the agenda of today's topic is we are going to learn a step by step process to solve the ai project then after that we are going to learn what is the objective of this ai project and once we learn the objective of ai project then we are going to learn how we are going to apply the machine learning on that part okay so the agenda is very simple we are going to learn the approach to solve any business problem in the world of ai or after knowing the approach we are going to learn how to do the data cleaning and we have to go ahead in that so the thing is whenever we are learning machine learning or data science so we are doing discussion with the stakeholder stakeholder means what our client so whenever client is approaching us in order to solve the business problem so what we people are doing we people are doing the interaction with the client and we are in the process to understand what the client is asking to solve the business problem so we are discussing with the client understanding their business problem in the proper way and then only we are going ahead once we understand this all the process with the stakeholder then we are going to check that which technology to apply and which is not to apply so in the machine learning concept what we people are doing we people are taking the past data related to any project and we are going to apply the algorithm on that and output of the algorithm is a model so i am going to explain each and every bit concept in the detail way so that you can understand that what is this machine learning about and how it is producing the entire part so machine learning is nothing but learning from the past data and getting the experience from that and ready for the future prediction so guys i will go step by step so this is the process where we are going and solving every part step by step in the world of data science so in order to solve any project in the world of data science and machine learning please follow this diagram please follow this diagram in this diagram the very first process is business objective that is business understanding now what i will do i will explain this entire part with the help of my whiteboard so that you can understand each and every con concept in the detail way so let me open the whiteboard okay guys concentrate carefully so that you can understand every concept in the detail whenever we are solving the project so the very first process is called as business understanding bu which is also called as problem statement so for example our business problem is preparing mobile app for diabetes prediction using machine learning again i am repeating our problem statement is preparing mobile app for diabetes prediction using machine learning this is our business object to and the problem statement okay the second part is that we are notifying the data required in order to solve the business problem data required to solve the business problem so please write down in full form i am writing in short form or else i will open one google colab file where this everything is written in the full form so let me open that ah this is that file so i am going to explain each and everything so that today we are going to concentrate on the machine learning topic guys okay so please concentrate carefully ha ah, this is that part i hope it is visible to all of you please tell me it is visible after this six number point is model tune okay now concentrate carefully guys concentrate carefully what we people are learning and what we are doing okay now concentrate carefully 
actually we are learning the approach to solve any project in the world of data science and machine learning in the world of data science and machine learning please take a photo or you can write down so that you can understand each concept in the detail way okay each concept in the detail way now concentrate carefully so the first is called as the project name whatever project we people are solving in the world of data science and machine learning we are understanding in detail what the client want from us after that in the second part we are noting the data required for that business problem so what is the data required to complete the project that is the second number might be data is in the form of images video audio text or any kind of data once we have noted that what is the data required to solve the project then we people are doing the data collection and we are doing the data collection with the help of various tools and technology inside our company and with the help of various resources once the data is collected then we are doing the data preparation that is cleaning of the data okay cleaning of the data and in the data cleaning we are doing missing value treatment outlier treatment converting categorical to numerical converting numerical to categorical and so many things so the objective of point number 4 is clean data so output of point number 4 is clean data this is the output clean data that clean data we are sending it to point number 5 that is called as data modeling or predictive analytics so this point number 5 is nothing but world of machine learning and deep learning again i am repeating point number 5 is nothing but world of machine learning and deep learning what we are doing here whatever the data we are getting from point number 4 that is clean data to this clean data we are applying algorithms we are applying algorithms and this algorithm is nothing but machine learning and deep learning depending on which business problem we are solving we people are applying the selective algorithms to that and on that basis we are going ahead now whatever the algorithm we are selecting is totally depend on the business problem so the thing is whenever we are giving clean data to algorithm so algorithm will learn from the clean data and output of the algorithm is the model so in the industry there are two dialogue famous here that dialogues is called as q i q o g i g o q i q o is nothing but quality input gives quality output quality input gives quality output and g i g o is nothing but garbage input use garbage output garbage input gives garbage output very simple meaning if to the algorithm we will not give quality data algorithm will not learn from the quality data output of the algorithm is garbage okay and if we will give quality data to the algorithm algorithm will learn from the quality data and algorithm will give quality data as a output okay this is that part so it is very simple game now i am going to guide you what is the algorithms how we are going to select the algorithm and what is the process behind that so let's see that what is algorithm so now i am going ahead to define you people what is the meaning of that algorithm and how we people are applying and selecting that entire part so we are applying the machine learning after selecting the or after cleaning of the data guys always remember after cleaning of the data okay so the thing is concentrate carefully here selecting the appropriate algorithm for our project machine learning is of so many types before that you should know 
द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डेटा सो डेटा इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स गाइस न्यूमेरिकल डेटा एंड नॉन न्यूमेरिकल डेटा न्यूमेरिकल डेटा एंड नॉन न्यूमेरिकल डेटा न्यूमेरिकल डेटा इज कॉल्ड एज क्वांटिटेटिव डेटा क्वांटिटेटिव डेटा इज कॉल्ड एज अ न्यूमेरिकल डेटा एंड नॉन न्यूमेरिकल डेटा इज कॉल्ड एज अ क्वालिटेटिव डेटा इन द न्यूमेरिकल डेटा आल्सो देयर आर टू टाइप डिस्क्रीट एंड कंटीन्यूअस ओके एंड इन द क्वालिटी डेटा क्वालिटेटिव डेटा नॉन न्यूमेरिकल डेटा इज हैविंग टू टाइप नॉमिनल एंड ऑर्डिनल सो डेटा इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप क्वांटिटेटिव एंड क्वालिटेटिव and depending on this only our algorithm we are selecting that's what i am guiding this again i am repeating quantitative data means numerical data which is further divided into continuous value and a discrete value and i hope that you people are knowing what is continuous data and discrete data so on the basis of this what we people are doing we are learning the algorithms so let's take an example what is the meaning of continuous value and what is the meaning of discrete value continuous value means it can take any value in the certain range any value in the certain range suppose i am giving you 1 to 5 number and i am asking you you can select any number between 1 to 5 for example 1.24 1.26 1.92 1.3 and 1. that so infinite number will be there but if i will ask you you have to select either 1 2 3 or 4 or 5 between 1 to 5 then it will be the discrete data so discrete data take only on certain individual value not any value so the thing is this is the discrete data and the continuous data difference and on that basis number of example is given example one on the discrete data number of pages in the book is discrete we cannot tell that 14.5 pages 2.3 pages we are telling three page fourth number page five number page like this same number of people in the classroom is a discrete you cannot say like this four and half people is present okay we have to say that 14 people are present five people are present and so on whereas on the continuous value height of the people we can say 5.3 inch 5.4 inch and so on temperature is the continuous data length of the film is continuous data okay so this is all discrete difference between discrete and a continuous data on that basis we are having the three types of algorithm supervised learning unsupervised learning and the reinforcement learning we are having the three to four kind of algorithm supervised unsupervised and reinforcement these are those algorithm guys now i am going to guide you in detail how to apply the algorithm in easy concept in easy concept so machine learning is divided into this three type supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning supervised learning is also divided into two types classification and regression unsupervised learning is divided into clustering reinforcement learning is divided into this decision making okay so i will guide you very easy that how to select the algorithm and how we are going ahead let me come to the whiteboard now in the whiteboard you will understand easily so the meaning of supervised learning sl supervised learning is having two word one is supervised one is learning break into two part one is supervised and one is learning supervised means what some supervisor will be there supervisor to assist you for example non technical example i will give at your home there is a small pet cat and cow at your home there are two small pet cat and cow and there is one small child and there is one small child now it is your duty to teach the child which is cat and which is cow so what you are doing every day when the cat is appearing in front of child and when cow is appearing in front of child okay so you are teaching that which is cat and which is cow okay you are telling the child now here you are acting as a supervisor to the child child is learning from your word 
that this animal is called as cat and this animal is called as cow. Child is learning from your word. So first day child learn from you. Second day also you are guiding the child. This is cat and this is cow. Third day also you are guiding the child. This is cat and this is cow. So like that fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine and tenth. So continuously ten day you have guided the child. This is cat and this is cow. On the eleventh day, when the cat is appearing first, so child is predicting cat. So what happened that first ten days, child learn from your word. You are acting as a supervisor. Okay, child learn from your word. On the eleventh day, instead of you, child has predicted the answer. Child has predicted the answer that this is cat. So this is a simple example of supervised learning. In the supervised learning, someone will be there to teach you. Someone will be there to taught you. Okay. Now, another example of supervised learning. During your college days, in the engineering, you are having the five subject semester pattern. Okay, five subject semester pattern. So, five professors are allotted to teach that subject. Now, professors are coming to the college. And they are teaching you. So this professor is acting as a supervisor to you people. So now one professor is teaching you one subject for three months. So th for three months, so professor is acting as a supervisor to you. That is called as a supervised learning. You are learning from the professor word. And once you learned for three months from the professor, so now you are ready for the university exam for prediction. Whatever you learn. So that is called as a supervised learning, guys. Supervised learning. Okay. Simple and super. Very easy example. Supervised learning. Now we will check that in real time world, what is the meaning of supervised learning? Concentrate carefully. Whenever we are working on any project, and in that project, there are suppose four columns A, B, C, D. A, B, C and D. In this A, B, C is the input column and D is the output column for example. Just remember this is the output column. A, B, C is the input column and D is the output column. Now when we are collecting the data related to any project in such a way that in that data, we are collecting output also. So this D output is called as label also. It is also called as output or it is also called as labeled data in supervised learning, labeled data. So labeled data means if ABC's value is like this 2, 3, 6, then output Y is yes, D is yes. If it is 6, 9, 4, the no. Okay, like this. If it is 392, yes, for example. So in this way, output is written here. Output is called as a label data. So this is the past data of one project, for example, in which input is there and output is there. So this output is acting as a supervisor now. Okay. If this is the input 236, this is the output. If this is the input 694, this is the output. If this is the input 392, this is the output. So the meaning is very simple. Sober, simple and sober. The thing is, in this ABC part, ABC is the input and D is the output. So D here is acting as a supervisor. If this is the value 236, output is Y. If this is the value, output is this. Okay. So very simple and sober. So now, this D is the output which is acting as a supervisor in supervised learning. So supervised learning means what? It is a type of machine learning which is learning from the labeled data. Labeled. Labeled means output. So output is compulsory in supervised learning. Always remember. Without output, we cannot solve supervised learning problem. Are you getting or not? Please tell me. Up to this, it is clear in the supervised learning, output is compulsory. Okay. Now, depending on the nature of output, there is two types of supervised learning. 
depending on the output, there are two types of supervised learning. Concentrate carefully. One is regression and one is classification. One is regression and one is classification. So regression meaning is what? Finding the relationship between the process. That is finding the relationship between variable. Okay. Now, when to apply regression and when to apply classification, we will check that depending on the nature of output column. So, whenever in real time, you are solving the project, which is predicting continuous value, which is predicting predicting continuous value okay continuous value then we are applying regression algorithm continuous value okay we are applying regression algorithm whenever in the real time project we are predicting discrete value discrete value okay discrete at that time we are using classification algorithm so regression means what whenever we are solving any project in the real time market where we have to predict the continuous value at that time we people are applying regression algorithm and this is that data d d is the continuous value now suppose the nature of d is continuous value so d is the output so we have to predict the continuous value apply regression when we have to apply predicting the continuous not continuous discrete value apply classification so there are so many algorithms in the regression and there are so many algorithms in the classification and which are those algorithms so these are those algorithms check now in this machine learning right now we are learning what supervised learning so in the supervised learning label data is compulsory that is output should be there compulsory now if the nature of output is continuous we are applying regression if the nature of output is classification we are applying the nature of the output is discrete we are applying classification so in regression these are the list of algorithm now linear regression multiple linear regression simple linear regression lasso regression support vector regression decision tree regression these are the various algorithm name okay similarly in the classification these are the name of algorithm nav based classifier decision tree support vector machine random forest logistic regression these are the algorithm names in the supervised learning so supervised learning is used when output is present label data is present and algorithm is learning from the label data now to check whether you understood or not so this is the supervised learning check the supervised learning label data is present for example i am collecting the data so these are the fruits guides fruits above is the fruits in that fruits i have given the label to carrot tomato label means giving the output check it we have given the name to the fruits this is the carrot this is tomato this is bell paper and along with the fruit images we have given label also to the algorithm so algorithm is learning if this is the input this is the output input is the image and output is written carrot so this is the input this is the output so we are telling them like this so now algorithm is learning from the input output pattern so this is called as a supervised learning guys supervised learning then unsupervised learning so these are the example of label data check it label data means we are having output associated with the images so in this last column is the unlabeled data but in the middle it is a label data so beside below the image of dog dog is written below the image of cat cat is written okay and so on so the thing is if image is present but label is not present that is unlabeled data 
So these are the differences between labeled data and the unlabeled data. Again, check the labeled data and unlabeled data. Labeled data means image is present. What is that image about? We are writing that that is labeled data. Unlabeled data means image is present, but we don't know what is there. So unlabeled data. Now, if labeled data is present, that we are applying supervised learning. So in the supervised learning, there are the two types, as I told you now, regression and classification. If I want to predict the temperature for tomorrow, so temperature is the continuous quantity, then we are using regression. If I want to present, predict, tomorrow will be the cold day or hot day. What will be the day tomorrow? So either hot or either cold. So this is discrete prediction. So we are applying classification algorithm here. So this is a simple meaning when to use regression and when to use classification. So classification we are using when you want to predict the discrete value. And regression we are using when we want to predict the continuous value. So this is that part. Okay, then I will come to uh, this part. Semi-supervised learning and reinforcement learning and so on. And unsupervised learning. This is a supervised learning which is going on and the same example I have explained to you. So let me come to that regression part so that you can understand that. So regression examples in the real time market is this. House price prediction, continuous value. Stock price prediction is a continuous value. Sales forecasting is a continuous value and so on. So on the basis of this, can you people please let me know in this project, which are the continuous value prediction and which are the discrete value prediction. Before that, I would like to give the example of discrete value also. This is a discrete value prediction, email classifier. Okay. Email classifier means spam or hand. Sentiment analysis. Okay. Sentiment is positive, negative or neutral and so on. So this is called as a discrete value prediction. And previously, as I told you, continuous value prediction. Now one test for you people. I am giving you 10 minutes of time, 10 minutes. Please check each project name and tell me the output, which is the continuous prediction and which is a discrete prediction. I am giving you 10 minutes of time. Check it clearly and let me know. 10 minutes of time. Check it. Read project name and tell me which is a continuous value and which is a discrete value prediction. 10 minutes are there.
ओके गाइस हाई यू सॉल्व द प्रोजेक्ट ओके आई एम नॉट एटिंग आई हैव गिवन द टेन मिनट्स टाइम टू यू सॉल्व द प्रोजेक्ट गाइस ओके नो प्लीज टेल मी गाइस फर्स्ट हेल्थ केयर आउटकम प्रेडिक्शन इट इज अ कंटिन्यूस वैल्यू और डिस्क्रीट वैल्यू प्रेडिक्शन टेल मी हेल्थ केयर आउटकम प्रेडिक्शन इज अ कंटिन्यूस वैल्यू और डिस्क्रीट वैल्यू so what we are predicting in that healthcare outcome what we are predicting in that please tell me okay good energy consumption prediction is a continuous value or a discrete value continuous very good here we are going to apply regression fault detection in manufacturing continuous or discrete fault detection is discrete value personality prediction is discrete value Hand written digit is discrete value. Good. Traffic flow prediction is a continuous. Okay, good. So in this way, what you people have done that you people have divided this project and decided that which is the continuous value prediction and which is the discrete value prediction. On that basis, we people are deciding whether to apply regression or classification algorithm. So very good, guys. I really like means you have given the correct answer. so how to choose the algorithm it totally depend on the project objective choose regression algorithm when you want to predict continuous choose regression uh, supervised algorithm when you want to predict discrete that means classification algorithm now let's go for the unsupervised learning unsupervised learning so unsupervised learning means what very simple guys now i'm coming to that unsupervised learning guys in unsupervised learning what is happening please concentrate carefully very easy and very simple now i will give the same example non technical example suppose at your home there is two pet cat and cow and there is one child now you are not teaching the child which is cat and which is cow now child itself observe every day there are two object in front of me two animal but child don't know which is cat and which is cow so child is observing every day two animals one is big in size and one is small in size so child is learning from the feature of those animal one is having the big size cat is having the small size cow is having the big size first day child is learning second day also when two animal is as a object is coming in front of the child child is learning from both the animal third day also child is learning from both the animal fourth day fifth day sixth day child is learning no one is teaching the child child is observing okay and so on on the 11th day only one animal is coming in front of child so as by name child don't know what is that cat or cow but by shape and features child know this animal is big in size this is that animal so this is called as unsupervised learning in the unsupervised learning there is no any supervisor to teach you similarly in your university exam or sorry in your college suppose there are five subjects out of five subject four subject professors are coming and teaching you <laughs> one subject professor is not coming so what you people are doing you are doing self study so four subject professor is teaching you that is supervised learning supervisor is there but one subject professor is not coming that is called as unsupervised learning so that is self learning or supervised learning means self learning so these are the two example you can give to the real time world that what is supervised and what is unsupervised <coughs> now in terms of data what is unsupervised learning in terms of data very simple guys check it in terms of data whenever you are working on any project whenever you people are working on any project and there are suppose three column a b and c and there is no output column there is no output column no output no output there is no output column okay in this case no output means no label data there is no label data no label no labeled data no output means no label data no supervisor so we can say anything no supervisor 
has due to this there is this is called as a unsupervised learning so in the unsupervised learning what is happening you are working on so much project where you are collecting the data but in that data there is no output no label no supervisor okay there is no output no label and no supervisor that kind of learning is called as unsupervised learning usl it is called as unsupervised learning under unsupervised learning you are having this algorithms the algorithm name is k means clustering db scan clustering hierarchical clustering and so on these are the clustering this is the clustering algorithm one more example please give me the answer of that suppose there are 12 people in front of you how clustering work what is the meaning of clustering concentrate there are 12 person in front of you you don't know the name of person and anything about the person you people don't know anything about the 12 person and i have asked you people to make the group of those person so is this possible to make the group if i will not provide any information and i am asking please group this 12 people so will you able to group those 12 people guys will you able to group no i have not provided any information but now i have provided one information that Out of twelve person, four person is wearing red T-shirt, four person is wearing blue T-shirt, and four person is wearing green T-shirt. Now I have provided one information. Out of these twelve people, four is wearing red, four is wearing blue, and four is wearing green. But I didn't give further detail. I haven't told the name of people and so on. So can you people please tell me? what is the easiest way here to group the people and how many group will form how many group can be form three and what basis what basis three group can be form based on color very good now you you got it now now i haven't given the name of people but on the basis of color that is one feature you have decided that four people wearing the red t-shirt there is one group one group of red having four people in that one group of blue having four people in that and one group of green having four people in that so the clustering meaning is grouping similar atom together grouping similar data together is a clustering or segmentation again i am repeating the meaning of clustering is grouping the similar atom together okay grouping the similar atom together okay this is the meaning of clustering and segmentation so this is the easiest meaning of unsupervised learning in the unsupervised learning output will not present you have to segment the data according to one of the column or feature that is unsupervised learning now we will go for the reinforcement learning last very easy reinforcement learning what is the meaning of reinforcement learning in reinforcement learning is agent environment learning agent environment learning so you people are the agent today and i am your i am your environment you people are the agent and i am your environment today you people are learning from my world guys you people are learning from my world after learning from my world agent learn from the environment now Now, after learning from the my word, agent is ready for the prediction. So today you people are the agent, and I am your environment. You people are learning from my word, agent environment learning. Now after learning, we are asking question to the agent. Now suppose after my session today, if someone asks you what is supervised learning, so you can tell that supervised learning is nothing but learning from the label data, output data. if you are giving this answer so front person will appreciate you that you have learned in a very sincere way okay they will appreciate me they will give you reward but on the other hand if someone ask you what is supervised learning and might be you have not paid attention in my class so you are unable to tell them the answer so front person will scold you okay so that is called as punishment so it's very easy in the uh, reinforcement learning if agent is unable to give the right answer it got punished and if agent is giving the correct answer it get rewarded that learning is called as agent environment learning 
एंड एजेंट एनवायरमेंट लर्निंग इज हेविली यूज इन गेमिंग इंडस्ट्री गेम सो एजेंट एनवायरमेंट लर्निंग इज हेविली यूज इन विच इंडस्ट्री गेमिंग इंडस्ट्री सो गाइस दिस इज द मशीन लर्निंग एंड टू लर्न द मशीन लर्निंग लेट मी शो यू माय अनदर स्लाइड एज वेल मशीन लर्निंग टोटली टोटली डिपेंड ऑन क्लीन डेटा यू पीपल कैन नॉट लर्न मशीन लर्निंग विदाउट लर्निंग द क्लीन डेटा सो लेट मी शो यू दैट स्लाइड विच आई हैव शोन यू एन नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स this is that slide so in this slide concentrate carefully this is the step by step procedure in order to learn artificial intelligence technology the very first that we people are learning python after learning python we people are learning data analytics in data analytics we people are learning this part <laughs> this one in the data analytics we are learning mathematics in the mathematics we are learning calculus statistics linear algebra and probability after that we are learning data visualization and we are learning data science packages so with the help of python mathematics data visualization data science packages we are cleaning the data so data analysis main responsibility is to clean the data i have written here see data analysis main responsibility is to clean the data that clean data we are giving to machine learning as a input so what i mean to say machine learning team depend on the clean data that means algorithm required clean data always remember always remember reinforcement learning is heavily used in gaming industry fatima games industry google driverless car is using the reinforcement learning okay beside the game our chat gpt is also having reinforcement learning so reinforcement learning is heavily used in gaming industry okay take a note of this now the thing is as i told you here <coughs> this machine learning totally depend on what part guys clean data so today we have gone through machine learning so in the machine learning and deep learning algorithms are present algorithms okay algorithms for the prediction so these are the machine learning type okay these are the machine learning type this check it so today we have gone through supervised learning and supervised learning reinforcement learning and the fourth one is a semi supervised learning which is the combination of supervised and unsupervised reinforcement learning is a sorry uh, semi supervised is nothing but the combination of supervised and unsupervised learning so this is machine learning guys please ask me any doubt if you are having any doubt now i am open for the doubt solving session okay some college is asking the abstract abstract related to harsha what harsha vardhan abstract related to project they are asking project okay how you decided the project or shall i give the project you tell me anything we can do how you decided the project or should i give the project yes harsha tell me shall i give the project okay i will give the project okay so what i will do guys i will give the project in three different domain i will give the project in python i will give the project in data analytics and i will give the project in machine learning okay then you people can select the prepare the abstract with the help of chat gpt also do one thing for example i am you want to submit the abstract so please concentrate everyone how to prepare the abstract with the help of chat gpt let's check that go to chat gpt and write down like this suppose i am giving the project diabetes prediction using machine learning so ask chat gpt write abstract on diabetes prediction using machine learning okay like this so chat gpt will give you the abstract guys please check it you can prepare the abstract from chat gpt do you know how to prepare this now everyone 
go to chat gpt and this copy paste in the word document and save that and i will help you in your project don't worry i am having so many project with me don't take tension whatsapp me in my whatsapp number you are having whatsapp me okay this is that part so the thing is this is one minute job of submitting the project so harshvardhan i will give the end number of project to you people you people please select the project and submit the abstract i will help you in that part is this clear everyone please tell me is this hard or easy very easy is very very easy now the thing is that finally i will show you that what things you people have to prepared for solving the project so guys as i told you i will give the project to you people that in terms of python in terms of data analytics and in terms of machine learning okay in terms of machine learning so i am going to give you the project in data analytics we will also give the project in power bi also okay power bi we will give the project on power bi also we will give the project in python and we will give the project in machine learning area is this clear yeah good good sai ganesh i thank you we are going to give the project in four domain data analytics machine learning power bi and python so that we can consider as your internship in this part okay so as i told you please be connected with me i yeah we will cover the python don't worry so please be connected with me and in this part you will get the regular update if you can connect with me in my linkedin so you people please connect with me in my linkedin you will get the regular update in the linkedin guys regular update okay this is my linkedin profile and you people can connect with me i can show my linkedin profile also and i will share the link of my linkedin our whatsapp chat sorry in our chat window right now so i am sharing the link of my linkedin in the what in our group chat you can follow me because i have already crossed 32000 followers i have crossed the limit i cannot accept the invitation if you will send me the invitation like this if i am trying to accept also check it accept so it will not allow me to accept that okay check that if i will click on accept it will so sorry you have crossed the limitation okay yes fatima we are going to teach you uh, uh, this power bi also don't take tension we are going to teach the power bi also okay guys don't take any kind of tension now please concentrate on this part so in this slide these are the skill set required okay python then data analysis then machine learning and then power bi so if this skill set you are having so you are learning so many good things and actually guys we are having only 40 hours to learn this okay i am having only 40 hours to teach you so now please any doubt please ask me guys so that i can help you out guys and once you learn all this skill set these are the job designation you will get in the company now please ask me the doubt so that i can solve the doubt please let me know guys any doubt i am here only please let me know the doubt you people are having internship compulsory guys remember internship means project internship means project okay internship means project don't worry and it is very easy in wait it is very easy i will give the end number of project to you people you people can solve the project and go ahead in that what i will do guys how i will teach the project i will explain one project to you people from starting to end from starting to end what you people have to do you people have to solve the other project i will share the data set with you is this clear i will explain one project from my side then apply the same logic in other project okay other project 
I am going to share you so many projects with you people. Don't take any kind of tension here. Just tell me right now any doubt to you people. I am stop sharing my screen. You people please ask me the doubt so that I can resolve that doubt. And please help me. Uh, your internship will be the group project, I guess, not individual project. Your internship is a group project, not an individual project. Because in the individual project, we are not having 264 project. Okay, we are not having the 364 project. Always remember. Okay, so we will have the group in that group project. Don't take tension. And I will explain one sample project to you people and then we will start preparing the documentation regarding that. Okay, guys. Are you getting? Good. So in the next class, what I will do? I will explain the sample project to you people. Sample project is also ready. This is the sample project. Movie award prediction. So this movie award prediction is that whether the movie is going to win the award or not. Yes or no. So please tell me that this is a regression project or discrete project, classification project. Movie is going to win the award or not. Yes or no. So this is a classification or regression. Wonderful. I really appreciate you people you have given the correct answer this is a classification project guys very good i really appreciate you okay i really appreciate you good guys good very good great i appreciate everyone okay so this project tomorrow i will solve in front of you same whatever I am going to do in this project, I will share the other data set with you people. Same to same logic you have to apply. Okay, don't take tension on that. Is this clear? <laughs> then if you people have any doubt, then we will connect. Don't take tension. And don't take tension of your college also. Okay, for submitting the document and this and that, I will guide you how to prepare in the faster way. Okay. So if any doubt, let me know. If any kind of doubt, please let me know so that I can guide you. You can go through my LinkedIn profile. You will, you can follow me. If there is no option for connecting, follow me. So every day I am writing the post. Okay. I am uploading the post. So you will get the regular update. World is going towards the direction of robots. Check it. Humanoid robot. Okay. I will guide you for this also. Those who are interested. So if you will check my post, this all are related to robots artificial intelligence technology and so on so check on that part okay you will get good idea from my entire content check this okay this is that part okay in my profile if you will go this is my profile my screen is visible guys My screen is visible. Huh. So in this profile, if you will go, you can follow me. And after that, you will get so many updates here. If you will go to my post, you will come to know about my post. This is my post. So robot related post, humanoid. You will get the generative AI related post. Okay. This is all my post. Okay, guys. So follow me. I will give the regular update regarding this as well. I will give so much knowledge to you in the given time. So don't take tension. So now I'm stop sharing my screen. Meanwhile, if you people have any doubt, let me know. Feedback form is provided, guys. Feedback form. Anyone from the black book, those who are present, can you please provide the feedback form? If anyone is present. Feedback form is present or not? Feedback is not present. Okay, let it be. We will check that tomorrow. Don't worry. If there is no feedback, we will check tomorrow. Okay. 
yes harshvardhan i will guide you na how to prepare the abstract don't depend on others obviously we are going to provide the abstract but if you are telling that prepare the food and give it to me it's not like that i am guiding you i will provide you how to prepare the abstract i am not responsible for abstract preparation blackbuck will provide you how to prepare the abstract but i am helping you don't worry any doubt guys i am here only please let me know any doubt Do people have any doubt? Tell me any doubt so that I can help you out, guys. Anyone? Suppose you people have any doubt, let me know. Someone has raised, Jonathan is there, Jonathan, you have raised the doubt, I guess. Jonathan is present. Yes, Jonathan. Now guys, feedback link is available here. Please check that feedback link. Please fill the feedback link, guys. Everyone, please feedback, feedback link. Okay. Please fill the feedback link. Anyone is having any doubt, let me know. Please let me know if you people have any doubt. Feedback link is just provided. Fill the feedback and let me know. So that we can, we will meet in the next session. Don't take tension. And it is very easy. Entire data science is very easy, guys. Entire field of data science is very easy. I am here only if anyone is having any doubt so that I can solve your doubt. Ask the doubt in English language so that I can help you. There is no doubt. Very good. If there is no doubt, that will be wonderful. In the next session, we will do the wonderful project, guys. So that you can understand that project. Okay. Don't worry about that. Thank you very much, Yashwant. Thank you, everyone. I am here for the next 10 minutes. If no doubt, let me know. I am here only, guys.
फीडबैक लिंक वी ऑलरेडी सेंड चेक द चैट विंडो वी आर सेंड अ फीडबैक लिंक यस वी इट इज पॉसिबल टू राइट अवर ओन अलगोरदम यशवंत बट फॉर दैट पर्पज वी शुड हैव टू डू हाई लेवल ऑफ रिसर्च हाई लेवल ऑफ रिसर्च इन यूएसए देर इज सो मच रिसर्च इज गोइंग ऑन दे आर प्रिपेरिंग देअर ओन अलगोरिदम दे आर ब्रिंकिंग देअर ओन अलगोरिदम फॉर वर्किंग ऑन सम टास्क एंड सो ऑन any doubt let me know एनी डाउट गाइस प्लीज लेट मी नो any kind of doubt please let me know thank you student day after tomorrow session will be very important session for all of us don't take tension on that we will enjoy in good way okay so be there day after tomorrow meanwhile any doubt let me know i am here only
yes bye everyone take care any doubt let me know else we will meet day after tomorrow don't worry we will meet day after tomorrow i am here only